Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Libras. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Libras. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Libras, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Shout out to the Evolving Spirits gang gang. Shout out to the Soul Tribe members as well. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. Welcome back, Libras. I hope all has been well. I hope you all have had a productive week here so far. All right. Shout out to the Evolving Spirits. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. If you would love to join the Soul Tribe Libras, definitely don't forget to click the join link down below. All right. It does provide you exclusive and unlimited access to personal readings for discounts each and every time you book a reading with me or, <clears throat> excuse me, in regarding also, we have email questions and love live stream questions that you are able to receive at a discounted price each and every time you book a question or a reading with me, my loves, all right? We also have our own private community, Libras, where I do post daily content there as well and also daily tarot reading spreads as well, all right? We have a lot that we do and ways of evolving, okay? So that's definitely something that you're interested in, all right? Don't forget to click that join link down below, loves, and join the Soul Tribe Libras, all right? So let's dive in here. We're first going to check in with you spiritually, all right? We're going to see what's going on here and what needs to be addressed or spoken of or what your higher self or messages simply from your guardian angels and your ancestors okay and then definitely stick around Libras. we're gonna dive into your love life all right we're gonna see what's coming towards you here closing out the month of october here and going into the month of november and what is the potential outcome for you all right guardian angels ancestors thank you so much for the opportunity here to assist my beautiful libras what do they need to know here? Wow, damn, Libras. I didn't even get to do a good shuffle for you. We already have cards that immediately here came out. All right, we have so far the throat chakra. All right, this is the color five. All right, the color five. Hold on, spirit. My higher self is way a beat ahead of me, right? We have the throat chakra here. The color blue is what I wanted to mention here, okay? The number five also talks about change, okay? Being able to communicate, collaborate here, I feel like here. So some of y'all are definitely needing to make sure to speak how the way how you feel here. I feel like in the next week here or going into the month of November, making sure that you are expressing yourselves and letting, you know, who for however this is resonating for you, let this particular person know how you feel. All right, Libra, this is definitely going to help bring change here in regarding this situation here just by expressing yourself. Some of y'all definitely needing to work with your throat chakra, okay, which talks about communication, speaking your truth, okay, wearing the color blue, get you a blue candle, light blue candle for clarity, all right? That's good for clarity to be able to bring in clear communication as well, all right, by eating blueberries, Wearing the color blue, embracing the color blue energy as well, all right? That definitely will be helpful, all right? So I feel like some of y'all may are not communicating with your partner or not communicating in regards to whatever situation or circumstance this here is and it's needed to be communicated, okay? All right, let's see what else here we have. Your solar plexus chakra, all right? That's the color yellow, number three. That breaks down to, again, as I mentioned, collaborating, communicating, all right, the number three is also feminine energy here as well. This could be based in regards to a feminine energy here, okay? Others of you all, you're needing to tap into your feminine energy. Rather, if I'm speaking to a female or a male, you're needing to work with your feminine energy here and bring love into this situation or come from a place of love, okay? Or using your intuition is also with your feminine energy here, following your intuition here. And speaking your truth regarding this relationship, this partnership, or whatever this is that is needed to be communicated here around the month of October going into the month of November, okay? We know solar plexus chakra, this is actually the color that we worked with here last week 
was the color yellow. Definitely, if you're new here, keep up with the community. We do post daily colors or no, not necessarily daily. I would say I do post weekly new colors for us to work with as well spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, and also focusing in on our chakras, okay? So knowing that the solar plexus is represented by your soul, your spirit, okay? That's the core of you, all right? And taking action as well and being creative. This week, we're working on the color orange, right? Which talks about being creative. That's your sacral chakra, okay? So whatever the situation is, I feel like try to find ways for Libra as well to be creative, okay? On how you communicate and how you express yourself here as well with the throat chakra, okay? Wow, beautiful messages in regarding your guardian angels and your ancestors, all right? Wow, I'm seeing 555. So that's going to be very significant, the number five. Some of you all may be seeing the number five here, or you will be here in the next couple of days. You may notice yourself seeing things that are equaling to the number five, or you're seeing the number five, okay? There's definitely a message there for you. So definitely check out the spiritual meaning for the number five as well. You may get messages there as well, Libra. All right, I am definitely seeing the number five in your reading, and I literally just see the clock. Five, five, five. All right. So very significant. There's definitely a positive change here that's coming. And I feel like it's going to require you to communicate. It's going to require you to speak up or it's going to require you to allow yourself to let the let this individual or a community of people or whoever this situation or circumstance is for. It's going to require you first to communicate, express the way how you feel. All right. Let that be known, Libras. Okay. Wow, thank you, Guardian Angels, for those messages. That's if that resonated for you all regarding your higher self and your Guardian Angel messages. Don't forget to like, subscribe, my loves. Welcome, be a part of family. And definitely don't forget to click that notification bell. All right, so that way you're notified for the content that I post out here for you all, all right? So let's now dive into your love life. Let's see what's coming towards you here, closing out the month of October here. Guardian Angels, Ancestors, what do we have here for my beautiful librarians? What do we have for Libra? What's coming towards Libra for love? What do we have for Libra placements? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and south node placements as a Libra. What do we have coming in here? What do we have for Libra? All right, here. Uh-oh, my apologies, love. All right, some of y'all little stuff knocking all over. What's going on? All right, we have the... Whoa. We have the Six of Swords here coming out in reverse. All right, so let's see here. We're going to talk about it, Libras. What else we have coming out? We have the Knight of Wands here. This is Fire Energy here. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries Energy here. We also have Air Energy here, which is your energy as well. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius Energy here. All right, and also here the Three of Swords. That's more Air Element. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra Energy here. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck here, we have the Moon card here, Pisces, or account Syrian energy here, okay, in regarding this situation. So some of y'all, this particular person may be a water sign, an air sign, or a fire sign here, okay? Now, from what I am seeing here, Libra, in regarding your love life here for the month of October, all right, we have a situation here where someone rather is not wanting to remove themselves from a situation here or not again speaking on how they feel in regarding this relationship here i'm noticing that she's wearing the color blue there's a lot of color blue here that's aligned with the throat chakra so i feel like some of you all a feminine energy here or masculine energy here is not speaking their truth you're not telling this particular person or this person that you were in a relationship here with in regarding how you feel or some of you all may be holding on to this particular person here or vice versa libra this particular person is holding on to you okay you may have even mentioned to this person that you have decided to remove yourself from this relationship here some of you all have already done this okay and i feel like this person here in the past may try to block you from moving or leaving this particular individual here okay it may was a difficult process to remove yourself from this particular person's energy here okay that I definitely see that someone here is holding back and is refusing to let go of you 
or this relationship here, Libras, okay? Again, some of y'all, this could be an air sign or a fire sign here or a water sign here, okay? The Knight of Wands here, okay? I feel like you are just ready to move on here, Libra, and someone else here is steady trying to hold on to you. This person may could have been very codependent here. This could have been the mother here or the father of your child, okay? With this card here coming out in reverse, okay? You had to remove yourself and even move on with your family here for some of you all, okay? This could have been a separation, a divorce here for some of you all, all right? And it took quite some time through the process, through all the paperwork, through filing a divorce here for some of you all. It's like now that this cycle here has completed here, you're ready for new things. You're ready to go out and explore and be adventurous and find out and see now where Libra is and what makes Libra happy here, okay? But however, I feel like someone here is still holding on or trying to block you from going after your passion. We know the Knight of Wands, this particular person here goes after their passion, okay? They're very uh, intuitive and they definitely know how to have a good time here, okay? Some of y'all are going to be meeting a fire sign here in the future, okay? However here, but this particular energy here is definitely holding on, being very codependent here, okay? And I feel like they may have kept a lot of secrets here with this moon card here from you. A lot of information I felt like was hidden in this relationship and even in regards to you all's feelings here towards each other here is why there is a lack of communication here because I feel like this person was not the type of person to, you know, express how they feel or let you know how they feel here. I feel like this person really held back a lot, okay, a lot of communication, just holding back who they truly are or was here, okay, and this was a situation that you had to remove yourself from here, okay? And yes, this particular person broke your heart. This is your energy here. Libra, Gemini, and Aries. Ooh, some of y'all, this particular person here may be an Aries, okay? I wanted to say Aquarius, all right? So however here, yes, this person broke your heart, okay? And this is, for some of y'all, a process that we are always healing from, okay? So don't rush the process for the ones that are now reflecting and healing due to this particular person that you were in a previous marriage or relationship here with, okay? Again, some of y'all, this could have been the mother or the father of your child here as well, or someone that you were definitely invested a relationship here in, okay? So definitely, again, working with that throat chakra and your solar plexus here will help you to ground yourself more and definitely be in this energy here because I definitely see positive opportunities coming in anytime I see the Knight of Wands energy here. And again, this could be coming in here from a Sagittarius, a Leo here, or an Aries here, Libra. All right. Wow. So let's get you some love messages here, okay? And before I do that, I want to see what this particular person has to say regarding this relationship here because as I mentioned, I noticed that some of you all, this person has again been holding back secrets holding back how they feel, holding back information, and not communicating here. So I want to see here what this particular person wants to say or how they are currently feeling. Let's see what the hidden truth here is, okay? Guardian Angels and what do we have here for Libra placements? Provide me more details in regard to the moon energy here. What is the hidden truth? Wow, beautiful spread, Libras. Definitely, again, if this is resonating for you, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, love, so that way, again, you can be notified for when I do provide you new content. And also, welcome. Join us live on Monday through Friday. I do go live for Wake and Tarot. Yes, we do live for Wake and Tarot, and I do different topics every day for all Zodiac sign readings, okay? So that gives you an opportunity, Libra, to get a daily check-in and regarding your day, your current situations, and depending on that topic of the day, all right? I do place timestamps right following out of the live stream as well. You can always go back and reflect on your zodiac sign or if you were able to not get in and get the wake and tarot messages as I start each day at 8 a.m. rising, okay? So that's 8 a.m. Central Time 
All right, I go live for Wake and Tarot for all Zodiac sign readings, okay? So definitely click the notification bell, subscribe, and share the video so that way you are in the loop when I do post new content for you all, all right? So let's see here, Gordon Angels. What is the hidden truth here for my Libras? What do we have for the Libra Nation gang gang? What do we have here? What is this particular person here? How they feel? Wow, we have I feel you even though we are apart, Libra, okay? So this particular person, definitely, uh, you got a lot of cards come out. We also have this person, again, they definitely feel that you are leaving them, okay? They can intuitively pick this up, okay, with this moon card here. Again, some of this particular person could be a Cancer, a Water Sign, a Pisces, okay, or even a Scorpio here, okay? Others, if you all, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and we also have here Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries and Leo energy here for Sagittarius as well. We also have I bury myself Libra in work to forget you, okay? So this person definitely picks up some extra hours here. I feel like maybe to kind of just keep themselves busy, all right? Not to have to think about this situation or not having to think about what's currently going on or what has transpired between you two. We also have we need to let you go, Libras, okay? This person feels like they need to let you go, Okay, they know that the things that they have done here is not put the relationship or put you Libras in a best place or a outcome here that I feel like this person now sees that you are very disappointed in them is why they feel like they need to let you go. Okay, they feel like this may be best for you and them. Okay. Wow, and then we have, I want to be more than friends, okay? Wow, so you also have someone else here in your energy here, Libra, that wants to be more than friends here with you, or you're wanting to be more than friends with someone, okay? And then we have, my life is not together as it seems, okay? So I feel like this is this energy here from your past here, this codependent energy here that's not wanting to let you go or remove themselves from this relationship here, okay? We have, I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, this person has definitely lost themselves. Doing a lot of reflecting here, okay? Yeah, we have, I don't react when people mention you, okay? This could have been someone, again, some of y'all, this was your ex-spouse here, okay? Someone that you been around for quite some time, okay? Others of you all grew up with this particular person. So the people that you guys used to hang out with, mutual friends, things of that sort. So when this person come around, this person tries their best when the friends that you guys used to hang out with or a family this person tried their best not to mention you, okay, unless they do, right? But however here, this person definitely tries to avoid any type of, you know, communication what's so possible, which makes sense of now why we see this throat chakra card out here. This person not only is lacking communication with you, Libra, or this, <clears throat> excuse me, this relationship, yeah. And look at there, my throat all of a sudden just out of nowhere, my throat was perfectly fine, right? I'm always sipping on tea in the rising. So there is definitely a situation here where someone is needing to speak up. They're needing to speak their truth, okay, in regarding this situation here, all right? Last card here we have, I wish things could be different. Yeah, this person really wishes things could be different between you two. This person definitely has regrets here in regards to how this situation played out or happened between you two here, okay? A lot of messages there, all right? I just seen 18, 18 on the clock. That may be very significant for you. The number 18 may be significant for you, okay? This may have happened on the 18th here, all right? Or this may be someone's date of birth, the 18th on that day, all right? That could be very significant. We're showing 18, 18. Definitely go look up the angel numbers for 18, 18, all right? Or the numerology perspective of it, all right? You may get also messages there. So let's get your love message, your loves, as we close out your spread here today. Again, definitely a beautiful reading here once again. Yes, I love it, Libra gang gang. All right, definitely, if you love it, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up, show spirit some love, share the video, get the message out for who the message needs to be heard for, all right? And also, my loves, don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified for when I go live. Also, I do have love live stream questions where I will be going live this Saturday night. If you have a question, you can always email me your question. I will provide you a number so that way you can remain anonymous during the love live stream for your question. 
And I also place timestamps right following after the live stream, all right? So definitely if you're interested in that, you can definitely come join me live Saturday night. All right, you can email me your question, screenshot your payment. And again, I will provide you a number so that way you can remain anonymous, Libra, all right? So let's dive in here and get your love message before we close out. Again, I am available for personal readings as well, Libra. So if you do need a personal reading, all that information as well is down below in the description box, Libras, okay? So the cards that came out here we have is let go of control issues for your love messages here today. Allow this situation to unfold naturally here. So there is a situation here, Libras, that you're going to need to allow the situation here to unfold naturally here, okay? Wow, we have this could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek, okay? Some of y'all have already met your partner here that you're seeking, okay? And it's just going to be a matter of time here before this is revealed to you, okay? So someone here may be secretly watching you while we have this moon card here as well, okay? And this person here, again, wants to be more than friends. This is that do. This is that energy here that I was picking up. This is a totally new energy here, okay? So you guys definitely have someone here coming in here. As I mentioned with that Knight of Wands energy, there is definitely a love offer here coming in, okay? Or this particular person here that you may have met here, all right? Your guardian angels here want you to know that this person could be the one, okay, that you have already been seeking here for, all right? And others of you all in regarding this situation here, okay, even again, if this is your past previous ex or ex-spouse here, or again, this could be the mother or the father of your child here, okay? Whatever this person may be doing behind closed doors or whatever secrets here, okay? Don't even try to force this person to, you know, communicate this to you. Allow this situation to unfold naturally when it comes to this perspective, okay? Again, however, when that opportunity opens up, make sure that you do communicate, Libra, in regarding this situation here. But in the meantime, your guardian angels and your ancestors want you to allow this situation to unfold naturally, okay? For who that's for, all right? And the last card that came out here we have is unrequited love. Yeah, there's definitely a situation here that's being unrequited here. Some of y'all are definitely going through a process where you are closing out a cycle with an individual here from your past, okay? And others of you all, you are currently in this energy and, you know, you're kind of contemplating, you know, as you are removing yourself from this relationship here. Because again, I feel like this partner here it was not ready to let you go or have you removed from their life because they still feel you for some of y'all that's already separated from this person, okay? Wow, I just seen two, 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 all right? The number two is very significant. That talks about balancing yourself, all right? Your masculine and your feminine energy here, all right? But we have unrequited love, Libras. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, okay? So, wow, your guardian angels want you to know that there's not enough attraction, there's not enough you know, enlightenment here. There's not enough love. There's not enough support here anymore. There's not no longer any genuine love here. I feel like from this particular energy here, that's why your guardian angels is wanting you to remove yourself from this particular person. Rather, they still holding on you with that six of swords in reverse. This is something I feel like that needs to be done because for others of you all, you may block this opportunity from this individual here that wants to be more than friends here with you in regarding this person being the one for you, okay? So be mindful of that as well, Libras, okay? Wow, a lot of messages here for you today. Beautiful reading here. Definitely, again, if the reading has resonated for you, Libras, don't forget, again, to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all right? And definitely join the Soul Tribe, okay? Definitely, if you have enjoyed the readings here, I do post daily content and daily tarot spreads there as well for our own private community, all right, so definitely if that's something you would enjoy to do, definitely click that join link down below and join the Soul Tribe Loves Libras. I love you all so much. And remember, your health is your wealth, Libras. I love you. Bye-bye.